Good day everyone, this is Teacher Nori. In this video, we are going to learn about reproduction in animals. What is reproduction? Reproduction is the characteristic of living things to create another one of its kind. Just like in humans, animals can reproduce sexually, while others can reproduce asexually. And still, there are those that can reproduce both ways. What is sexual reproduction? As in humans, sexual reproduction involves the egg cell and the sperm cell. When the male and female gametes join together, it is called fertilization. There are two kinds of fertilization, internal fertilization and external fertilization. What is the difference between internal and external fertilization? Internal fertilization means the egg cell and the sperm cell join together inside the female's body while external fertilization means that both the male and the female release their gametes to the environment and let them meet there. This act is called spawning. In both internal and external fertilization, a courtship and mating ritual can occur. For external fertilization, having a courtship ritual increases the possibility of fertilization because spawning happens in a small area. The downside to this is the limit in genetic diversity. On the other hand, broadcast spawning increases genetic diversity of the animals but reduces the possibility of fertilization and even the rate of survival. This is an illustration showing the difference between internal fertilization and external fertilization. What is asexual reproduction? Asexual reproduction is the process of creating another being of the same kind without the need of having male and female gametes. Some characteristics of asexual reproduction are, there's no need for fertilization, you only need one parent to make an offspring, it needs little time to reproduce. The young ones are exact copies of the parent and the growth of offspring is fast. How can asexual reproduction happen? There are several ways in which asexual reproduction can occur. The first one is through binary fission. This happens by cell division. This means that the parent cell divides itself into two daughter cells. The downside to this one is that the daughter cells are usually smaller in size than the parent cell. Example of living things that undergo binary fission are bacteria. Another way of asexual water production is by budding. In budding, new organisms develop from an outgrowth. An example of animal that undergoes budding is the hydra. Another means of asexual water production is fragmentation. In fragmentation, the parent breaks itself into several pieces, but the offsprings are as big as the parent, unlike in binary fission. Examples of animals that undergo fragmentation are starfish or sea stars, and planaria. The fourth way through which a sexual reproduction can occur is by parthenogenesis. In parthenogenesis, an egg develops into a complete individual without fertilization. Some animals that undergo parthenogenesis are bees, aphids, and reptiles. That is the end of our lesson. Thank you for watching. See y'all next time. Bye!